set. Blue lights on and they're racing. And away, all right, Heathburn Star near the inside with Gotta Grunter, a little bit of something, and deep on the track, working around the outside to improve as Lap Dancer. And Lap Dancer going pretty slick up front, is trying to get across. There's a line of three onto that first turn. Lap Dancer, Heathburn Star, and Gotta Grunter. They're a couple on a little bit of something, followed further back there by Gotta Glow, who's racing three wide. Along the inside, then, as they come towards the turn, is Pond Arena, followed further back then by. Highest Mountain, it's drifted back with Modern Dancer. And the last couple here are Give Us a Grin and the Grey Silverbacks at the tail of the field. 28-5 was the first quarter and zipping away in front, it's Lap Dancer, the leader. Lap Dancer by a length and a half around the outside. Got a glow, works to the breeze and in third spot is Got a Grunter. One out, one back now is Heathburn Star and it's trailed there by a little bit of something. Further back then is Ponderina as they leave the straight. Further back then on the outside is Highest Mountain and it's being trailed as they go into the back straight by Franco Hammond. Well back in the race then is Modern Dancer and towards the tail end of affairs now is Give Us a Grin and the grey silverback struggling to keep up. It's five lengths away at the tail. 29-3 second quarter. 57-8 for the half down the back of the track and up on the outside now Got a Glow is headed Lap Dancer coming on strongly around the outside is the one they've specked at Boulder's Odd here, a little bit of something. It's running home. Highest Mountain trying to work into the clear in behind them is Heathburn Star and the others are headed by Ponderina, Franco Hammond and starting a searching runner's modern dancer. 29-2 the quarter. These two go to war up front. A little bit of something and got a glow. Here's Highest Mountain bringing fresh legs into the race and right to the outside running home as modern dancer but spots them three and Franco Hammond's trying to work into the clear. Off the track, Highest Mountain has quickly gone up to hit the lead from got a glow. Down the outside as modern Dancer and back to the sprint lane is Franco Hammond, but the leader steals a march. It's Highest Mountain, a length and a half clear, and Highest Mountain's going to be a touch too good for Modern Dancer. Beats it three parts. Third home on the race was Got a Glow, just edging out Franco Hammond, and then came a little bit of something, followed by Ponderina, and then Give Us a Grin, followed then by Heathburn Star. The Grey Silverback got past a couple. They included the early leader lap Dancer and Got a Grunter tailed out. Stand by for the result. Stand by, but the winner will be Highest Mountain, Brendan Barnes and Kerry McDowell. Ten is the winner, Highest Mountain. A Bay Gelding five, a Mac three out of Highfields Delight. Brendan Barnes and Kerry McDowell is a Bay Gelding five, Mac three, Highfields Delight. It's 10, 11, five and four. 10, 11, five and four. Two, three, one, the overall time. And the mile rate, 155 and 8. A slick run to the final race. Margins, 2 and 3 quarters. 2 and 3 quarters by 11 and a half. Okay. Eleven five four. Yep. Two and three quarters, eleven and a half, two oh three one the gross time, one fifty five eight the mile rate, ten eleven five and four, and the winner driven by Brendan Barnes for Kerry McDowell in the final race of A Gelding five Mac three Highfields Delight. Uh, the first to Keelor Misty Brad Hewitt at 150, second of four Victory Vendetta Darren McCall at 330, third to seven Rock and Brushgrove Ellen Rickson 2320, and the fourth to two Hellbent Glen McElhenney 270, fifth to four Pride of Flight 750 Ellen Rickson, sixth to seven Nod Door Chris Geary 760, and the seventh to ten Lombo Final Touch Jared Alchin at 220. And you've had the details on the last. I'll send all clear down the line. Catch you from Menengel tomorrow. Cheers, Kev. <laughs>